proceeds of crime and anti-money laundering bill made a division among legislators who had proposed an amendment on the same bill to allow clients confidentiality through the courts, a proposal which was rejected. The bill proposes that an obligation shall apply to advocates while acting for their clients will also be compelled to reveal the secret accounts for their customers for scrutiny in the event money laundering activities are detected. Elizabeth Mutuko reports. Finally, Parliament has kicked off the journey that will help address the thorny issue of money laundering, a business which, according to legislators, has threatened to cripple Kenya's economy. Propose the question. So I'm putting the question, which is that, which is that the House do agree with the committee in the said report? Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Many as of a contrary opinion say nay? Zero. The ayes have it. A new proposed law by legislators will now expand the definition of reporting persons and will now include advocates, notaries and other independent legal professionals who are sole practitioners, partners or employees within the professional firms so that the obligation to monitor complex, unusual, suspicious, large or other transactions and to report any transactions that constitute or may be related to money laundering as provided under part five of the act to apply to them. We will go home satisfied that Kenya is now being removed within the region and the only country that will now be left and they are working hard to ensure that they also pass this kind of legislation is Somalia. But within the region at least Kenya can start tall with the rest of the countries who have moved forward and made progress in the matter of fighting anti-money uh, laundering, proceeds of crime, terrorism financing that is busy killing the lives of innocent people. The bill proposes that the obligation shall apply to advocates while acting for their clients, with some members of parliament arguing the confidentiality of clients will be interfered with, further expressing fears that the move could be a witch hunt. Nothing in suspicion, Chair, can occasion someone to come and search your property without any court order, possess, seize your possessions, seize your possessions circulate information, your financial information to people on suspicion. Because on the basis of suspicion, chair, people are kidnapped. Yeah, you can't do that. The privacy of a person is succinct to the person and indeed, as the Honorable Junetta said, this is the fundamentals of the Constitution. We must safeguard lives and livelihoods and it cannot be at the whim of a person. I agree with some cop, chair. Chair, there are rights that have been given also by the Constitution. And you cannot deny them through a statute, Mr. Chair. And you know, this bill is going to end up in court. This bill is going to go to court, Chair. So don't, don't allow people's money to be frozen just because of suspicion. What Musimba is saying is making, is putting up safeguards, Mr. Chair. Safeguards on how the rights of people can be protected under the Constitution. The Constitution is supreme. Further, the bill seeks to give Financial Reporting Center the authority to interrupt a transaction for not more than five working days where there is evidence or suspicious activity taking place. This will also allow the center adequate time to investigate the transaction. So that the five days that we give ARA is just five days. After five days, if your money is okay, it will just be there. It will go nowhere. So, but then within those five days, surely, if the money was supposed to be withdrawn for purposes of terrorism or others, we will have saved this country. But within five days, you have your, you have your money. And it is part of meeting the international obligations uh, towards uh, uh, managing and money laundering. So it has nothing to do with the local politics. Yeah, I don't know where that is coming from. But The bill also seeks to introduce provision that will limit rights to privacy enshrined in the Constitution of Kenya 2010 in relation to the prevention, detection and investigation of money laundering and financing of terrorism. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47.